To uphold our Second Amendment, I will ask Congress to pass the National Concealed Carry Reciprocity. And I've always had the endorsement of the NRA, and I should because I've kept I've kept it going. I've kept our Second Amendment totally alive. We haven't done anything to injure it or hurt it, and it's been very hard. It's been a hard — it's been a very hard battle. But the NRA has always endorsed me, and I appreciate it. But I've done a job that, for years, I've kept it alive under the most trying circumstances. We need it for protection. We need it for our safety. We need it for other things, too, including sporting including living, but we need it for our protection. So every man knows what it's like to walk into a gun store, right? Not even, it doesn't even have to be a gun store, just a sporting store, an outdoor store. Something's bound to happen. I went to Academy last night. I was going to get some Hornady Black in 5.7. I looked at the gun shelf. My wife and kids were there. I called my wife over. Babe, look. Her words were, it's so pretty. And from that moment I knew I could do it. I could get it. You know, you know what I mean? So I'm going to do an unboxing with you. I am extremely tired. I just came back from the range with sticks. Um, we shot a bunch and I'm just tired. And before I start posting videos with this gun, I want to do an unboxing. I did shoot it. Uh, it did run flawlessly, but let's get straight into it. Here we have the Beretta M9A4. I always wanted a Beretta, a 92 FS or something similar. I saw they had an N92 FS with um, the Enox at Academy as well. And it was made in Italy, but no optics. And I do like to adapt optics to my guns or at least have the ability to. And, and then I looked at the shelf below all the way at the bottom and I saw this and Amber Alert. Kidnap child. These mothers and fathers need to stop fighting and taking their kids and then, you know, calling the cops on each other. That shit is crazy. Cut that shit out, man. Golly. Figure it out, man. Grow up. Look at this thing, guys. <laughs> Look at this gun. Absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. B E A beautiful. And he saw that it was good. B E A beautiful. I'll see what it comes with. All right, you have some rubber washers. You have your screws, and I'm assuming that's for your optic plate. I'm not exactly sure, but you have rubber washers, and you have screws. It comes with two additional magazines. These are 18 round mags, so you get three 18 round mags. You get an additional grip. Okay, so I'm assuming because this doesn't have anything on the back and this does, you're gonna be adding a little bit more girth to it. So it's gonna be a wider wider grip. I'm probably going to do that just to see how it feels because I do usually like to have a nice strong purchase and this kind of leaves quite a bit open down here. So I'm going to try the different grip out, but man, this thing shoots absolutely amazing. The Beretta M9A4. This model doesn't have a safety. This model has 
a decocker. Okay, so if I if I rack the slide and I use the decocker, which is ambi, so I could use either or. We're going right back to the, let's say, fire position, right? So this would be your safe. It goes right back up to the fire and it decocks the weapon, which will require your full trigger pull. Now, let's look at this trigger. Now, once it's shot and the slide engages the hammer, it's a very easy trigger pull. So let's take a look. Okay, let's see if I can get it from this angle. Okay, that's your wall. Now, you have like a two-stage hammer on this. So if I pull back a little bit, that's the first step. You heard that click? So if I let go, the wall now becomes right here at the middle. Okay? And from here, we have the rest of the pull to fire. So it is a long pull. If your hammer is not cocked, it is a very long pull. I might send this off um, length and tactical. They do some custom work, so I may reach out to them, see if they're willing to work with me on this build. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with optics. I might just leave this without anything, especially because this doesn't come with suppressor height sights, even though it is threaded barrel suppressed um, or suppressor ready. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. It, it's like they they just missed a couple spots. Why couldn't they just create an optic ready slide here? You know, area where I mean, I guess you're going to change the form of the gun, but still, there's there's a way to do everything, right? Or at least include a plate because we didn't include the plate. So you also get your lock. You get your instructions manual and some other pamphlet or booklet and that is it that is it for what's in the box okay we just have our two additional mags here so that's it um, but I do wish Beretta had suppressor height sights on there they are let's make it dark in here real quick oh so we do have some very pretty, I don't know if, yeah, you guys can see that, right? So we have some very pretty night sights on those irons. Uh, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I just wish it was suppressor height. And I wish it, the, the, the mounting system for an optic was easier. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I've heard that they take forever to ship them out. Uh, why am I talking in the dark? Sorry. Um, so yeah, minor things. I mean, the takedown is very simple, right? You have a button right here, you push that in, you slide the lever down and your slide literally just comes right out. Very easy takedown. Uh, I did not clean or oil this thing at all. This, it didn't look like it had a packing grease on it, like a thick grease, it looked like it had a light grease, so I just went with it and shot the crap out of it, Sticks and I. Shoots very well. We, we both enjoyed it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy with it. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with this build, but all I know for now is where you at? My TLR1 HL is, this has the Glock, the Glock rail adapter on it, but Pretty sure I'm good right there. No, actually it looks a little off, so I'm gonna try up top. So I'm probably gonna have to change that, um, that adapter and go with one that sits a little further back because I do have some space here, but I can't really go back because it starts to hit the wall where it changes things and it won't grab as well 
that's enough rambling so that's it guys that's my unboxing and uh, review of this Beretta we have probably I would say maybe a hundred hundred and change through this no failures at all very accurate very fun to shoot I highly recommend it I highly recommend a Beretta I'm glad that I bought one it was expensive um, it is you know Black Friday time so if you see this now start looking around if you do find it for a sale I got it for tell you right meow all right I paid a hefty price I got it for eleven hundred eleven hundred dollars was this gun my mom's gonna kill me my wife said I could but my mom's gonna kill me hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll catch you guys in the next one peace